Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I do unboxings here. Mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, jewelry, and even a dash of Disney. So if you like unboxings, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. I am trying to get to 250 subscribers by Valentine's Day and I definitely need your help with that. I would also love if you followed me over on Instagram. I just started an account, it's Maui underscore Noelle, and I just highlight some of the boxes and products that I open here on this channel. So it's another good way of keeping track of of what I've got going on here over on YouTube. Now today I have Anchor of Hope. I have unboxed this once for you on the channel, but I love that they actually do some spoilers. It's always really nice to sort of see what's in store and see if the value is there. And I have skipped it for the last couple of months, but I love their cause, I love their mission. They are providing jobs and opportunities for women in need who come from either underserved communities or who are survivors of domestic violence or human trafficking, so great cause. They always include three items and I loved the spoilers that I saw for this month So I'm very excited to share it with you again And I have actually subscribed to it for a couple of months So you should be seeing it here on the channel for quite a while now, Anchor of Hope, because they do have that mission, that great cause, they do work with a lot of companies that you've seen in other subscriptions like Causebox or Globe In. Um, so hopefully there's not too much overlap inside. I love the simplicity of the packaging. It's just this beautiful teal with this nice little gold heart sticker. And the box itself is really pretty too as well. If you haven't seen it, it says never underestimate the power of hope. And isn't that absolutely true? So let's open this up. So I I think I can actually sort of just slide everything out. Like I said, there's usually three items. Sorry, I made it a little bit loud. And then they just have this nice sheet here, this nice little product card, and it does tell you what's inside. So like I said, it is just three items, but usually they're very nice quality items. They do not include the retail value, but a lot of the times you can actually look it up on the websites of the companies that they work with. So the thing that I uh, wanted to get this box for comes in this little jewelry box, and it is a nice jewelry piece and I didn't used to really be into hearts but lately and I don't know if it's just because Valentine's Day is coming up I've been really into like heart items it says dainty heart necklace this adorable necklace was made by our AOHB artisans a group of refugees and survivors who meet together often to create and learn new skills while earning fair wages to help contribute to their family income so let me just show it to you see if I can get it to show up nice and clear there on the screen. It is dainty, it is tiny. It says, we had a new artisan join us for this project, a lovely woman from Nigeria with three precious children and contagious warmth and joy. Additionally, we were able to celebrate one of our long-term artisans, Ruda, getting her very first car. It is a little delight to see this amazing group growing and healing. So hopefully you guys got a good view of that. I think it is a beautiful piece. I actually really love gold jewelry, so I'm excited to have this as a nice layering piece but just nice little accent love it I'm going to try it on for you if you haven't watched my unboxings when I do do jewelry sometimes it can be a little bit dangerous because it takes me kind of a long time but I have these awesome magnetic clasps that I did invest in and I will put a link um, to where I got them on Amazon for you below I actually got just a little set where it came with two silver ones and um, two gold ones so that definitely covers most of my jewelry, most of my necklace needs, you can definitely get bigger sets, of course, but usually pretty nice and interchangeable. So for me, it's definitely worth taking that time to put that clasp on there so that then I can just easily put it on this way. Nice, strong, magnetic clasp, doesn't even come undone when I put it on over my hair. I am wearing a little diamond necklace from my Rachel Zoe box of style, but I absolutely love how that layers. And because it is so shiny, you can still see, see it even from far away. So love that, love the story that goes with it. And you will probably see this featured on my Instagram Instagram because I love this necklace. I'm ex super excited to be wearing it all the way into February. Now the next item and the next one that they did leak as a spoiler is these nice serving spoons spoons from Jindando Handicrafts and they are made in Kenya. So love this detail. So you can see this like bone inlay here on the handles and look at the beautiful grain of the wood. So obviously these are always going to be different for everyone. So you can see this one actually has some like tongs it has like some splits in the wood and then the other side is just a spoon shape but I love them they're kind of short like you can see so it's nice um, you don't have to have a giant bowl 
bowl, but these actually really match a set of serving spoons that I got when I went to South Africa. Um, I love them. They're called appetizer spoons because they are like kind of smaller, not salad spoons. It says these gorgeous appetizer spoons were made by Jindando African Handicrafts, a fair trade artisan group that works with more than 100 individual carvers in Machakos, Kenya. So love that. Love the little giraffes on their label as well. It says wood carving provides the major income for many in the Machakos area and is a tradition that is passed down from generation to generation. An integral part of this organization's function is to educate the craftspeople on the need for reforestation. So that is fantastic to enable the products and the income they provide to be available for years to come so sustainability is one of those words that's it's it's out there we have to know about sustainability and not just depleting all of the earth's amazing resources but these are carved from olive wood fantastic using only rudimentary hand tools and can be treated with oil to ensure that they last a lifetime so you do have to get that mineral uh, food safe uh, mineral oil to, to make sure that they last but a lot of the times they just become kind of like cured when you use them for different foods so I'll look into that in the best way to cure those but I am looking forward to using these adding this to everything that I've got it doesn't actually say anything there but it does say that it helps to provide a sustainable income for the handicraft workers. All right. And then the final item is just another little pouch. Like these are pouches that you see so often, but I love how colorful they are. It's kind of a nice size. I think you could actually fit some sunglasses in there and it's padded. So it would be great for sunglasses. I do have like some nice sunglasses that have a really big hard case, which I feel is really great for being protective. But for my kind of like ones that I throw around, um, it's nice to have something like this that you can just put in your purse. It's also very easy to find when it's these nice bright colors so that you don't just have to like dig around in the black hole that is your purse so simple and black on the inside let's see what it says this cute zippered pouch made by artisans in Ecuador is from Minga Imports a fair trade organization that creates opportunities for economically and socially marginalized producers around the world Minga works to promote fair trade by building transport transparent relationships creating empowering working conditions and ensuring the rights of children so you know that this is again a living wage company that's fantastic this fun pouch can be used to organize your purse carry cash or keep other small items close at hand so it does look like it is the size for like cash too so um sometimes when i am traveling i like to sort of like put my budget things and put like a stack of cash, like what I'm going to use for tips or what I'm going to use for certain dinners and events in one place. So it's not just all in my wallet, kind of floating around and making it a lot easier for me to just spend. So this would be good for that. Or like I said, I think it would be great because it is a little bit padded for some sunglasses. So I love all three items. A lot of the times when I've been watching their spoilers, I'm like, I like two of the items and I can see myself using them and maybe not the third. So I'm excited this time around. I love all three items. I'm actually just loving this heart necklace so, so much. Let me know below what your favorite item is. Let me know what some of your favorite companies are and what you do these days to help us be a more sustainable planet and community and what your favorite boxes are that have those kind of environmentally friendly um, desires and missions in mind. Other than that, you guys, I hope you have a fantastic day and to see you very, very soon in my next unboxing.